Hi there, I hope you're well. I hope you're blessed and I hope everything is going well with you. Wherever you are in the world. For those of you that support your readings always, as always as well, I truly appreciate it. Um, I will be looking at the general energy and anything that I get channeled in. Sometimes these are future predictions. So you might be like, oh, it's not resonating. But in a couple of days, you might find it resonates and you might decide that you need to listen to it again depending on how you are i can be someone who listens to something but then i need to really stop because i'll be doing something else i'm just like always like that um i then need to think okay what did i just listen to because i don't think i absorbed anything and do a reflection or go back and listen to it um there might be certain nuggets that i channel that are for you maybe they're for someone else whoever it is there's someone who's going to resonate this is a collective read, so it's not going to always fully resonate with everyone. Like I said, check your last reading, check your energy, check in. And then over this next two weeks, you might want to check in this reading again and see if there's anything that's come up for you. There is something of fear that I want to say. Okay, so... Firstly, I think there's going to be some un unexpected news. Either it's your family, but it could also be... It doesn't have to be basically your direct family, like your spouse, basically. It could be... Um, what could it be? It could be like your... Um, daughter or your son uh, is his wife's getting pregnant or there's news of pregnancy basically and it doesn't have to be directly with you it's more or less within the family and it's kind of unexpected I did channel a theme for you earlier I noted it in my phone while I was pondering around so I just, I'm just trying to pull up where the hell I've put it because sometimes I just start, star stuff. I know that in one of the last readings, there was something, I was getting something about sweet tooth, but I don't know if I actually put, said it in your reading or I put it in the title. But there is something where you've been moving forward quite quickly. But there is also an energy here I'm feeling for you not to get tricked into anything. So moving forward quite quickly in certain areas in your life, but something about don't get tricked into something. Um, and I think I might go into that a little bit more because I think there's a bigger message here. But the pregnancy is unexpected. So if it's not you or your partner, you hear of it. It could also be marriage, by the way. It could be marriage too. And if it is you, then... Uh, congratulations and if it's someone close to you that congratulations to them as well same with the pregnancy now I am getting that obviously uh, some might not be ready for it and so suddenly you're, there's a bit of a shock you know it's kind of like um, and the towel's just fallen out but in a good shock <laughs> Everything's going to be seen to work out just great, you know, so if you're worried about it. Nine of Cups. So, so, someone could be enjoying their singlehood and then, oh my God, what's just happened? <laughs> okay. Two of Wands. Three of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. And the Magician. There is a shake-up whatever it is if it's to do with what i just said or not that makes you reassess something but regardless something you're trying to manifest from your heart i believe is coming through but it's been quite slow it's been quite slow it's left you feeling quite demotivated um, I would say, like I said, don't get tricked into anything. Um, don't get pulled into drama. There's no need for it.
there is an expansion of um, loved ones here, which is lovely. You are looking at a practical plan towards something, and I think it's around what you're trying to also manifest. That is coming to fruition because the universe is bringing it in for you, which is going to give you that heartfelt joy. But as you see it, you see it as a tower right now. Like you were feeling really good, then something happened. And it's made you take a step back and reassess and just like pause for a moment. Some of you have actually done the right thing where you've actually decided, you know what, I'm going to navigate my energy from something. I thought there was something on my card. Navigate my energy from something that I was focused on. And just take some time out to connect with my loved ones, with my friends, you know, and then come back to it, maybe with a slower practical plan. Whatever is happening here and whatever is heading towards you around your manifestations is solid. It might have just taken some time. Some of you in certain, um, certain, you know, you know, if you've gone through a period where you're feeling a bit depressed and down, you might have had missed opportunities. But that's not something to blame yourself with or have conflict internally with because there is other opportunities coming towards you. But that, that has been slow. For some of you, you could be planning like a little vacation or a trip. Judgment. You're having an awakening about something, and I think it's to do with that tower where you're going to have to prioritize things. And again, that could be the pregnancy or the marriage, really prioritizing time, balancing it. Maybe you're becoming a gran or a granddad or an uncle or an aunt, um, or if, if not, maybe a father, a mother. But there is news that is going to cause a breakthrough um, in a positive way around this. Removing the tower energy. Look at that. The, the two of cups. Uh, this is a partnership, either work or a partnership union of yourself. But I actually feel like if you're single, someone's coming in for you. It could be fire work. It could be someone, something that's different to your normal type or what you've been searching for, even if it's to do with work is coming in. And I feel like this person is um, emotionally stable, but they're not your natural sort of attract person that you normally would be attracted to. Whatever this tower moment is, the, the breakthrough of the news and the break of the tower that's led to here also that leads to a union and this could be a reunion with your family it could be a reunion with your soul it could be a partnership of a new work it could be um, a partnership of a relationship where you had um it, i'm getting for some of you you know the one that got away um and suddenly it's reoccurring it could be reignition, reigniting a current partnership that, you know, was going really, really well. But I think there was some sort of manipulation or toxic energies that got involved and then it held it back. And you've been in this kind of energy of what can I do? Is this a third party situation? What can I do? This energy feels off with, between me and my partner. And that breakthrough is coming through. It's actually shifting the energy where you, you know, you peacefully go to karma shores. Some of you is leaving something behind. You've got a choice around it. Two choice cards here. Double six is a confirmation of the message of this reading. There is a new energy also coming in with you for the lovers. If you're in a relationship, again, there's something about choices here. We've got twos and twos choices six and six and you get that nine of pentacles where you felt like you were in the nine of cups you do get that nine of cups back with the gift of the universe that makes you feel great within your mind and body but also around your finances 
you're abundant. If you're doing any passive or side hustle, I think I've mentioned this before, um, you will excel in it or you already are excelling in it. There's a newfound wisdom, but also the energies are shifting. Like I said, there was with that tower and the magician and some of these energies here, I think there was some third parties. It doesn't mean your partner's cheating. It could be like other people that were getting involved to manipulate or just send bad energy. That tower has shaken that away. And if this resonates for you, it's your message. But if it doesn't resonate for you, it's not your message. So please don't get paranoid about it. A lot of it is stuff that's in the past that you need to leave now in the past. The past could be yesterday. It could be a 10 years ago. Leave something in the past. Don't keep thinking about it. Get busy on what really makes you happy. What lights that flame within you. What where, Plant your seeds somewhere else if you need to. There is something about travel. It could be work or business. But you you will, if you've got a family, you'll be going alone. And maybe that's something that, you know, it, it's not necessarily the greatest news you want to deliver. But, you know, it shouldn't be an issue as long as you prioritise your time. I was saying earlier about decisions. Did I say about decisions? I said wasn't exactly decisions was it i was oh don't be frightened to be tricked by people so here like some of you are taking large decisions especially around money um if you need to step back think about it do that because you don't need to rush into a decision that could have a heavy impact and making a bad decision because you haven't really thought about it or you've come from an energy where you are um, yeah, you've just not thought about it. You don't you don't need to do you you need to you need to take a step back, think about it analytically, make sure it feels good for you, you know, analyze it as well. Stay clear of any bad decisions. Like just step back, especially if it's to do with money, to decide what is best for you. Aries energy. Knowing that regardless how certain times you might be feeling disempowered, even to make a decision or even through news, which is actually beautiful news that initially you're not sure of, you are the person that plays the chess game of your life. And whatever move you make, you rule and manifest and are the creator of your life you could turn to a, you could take a different route but you've got extreme power of turning something around here let's go into these cards Light activation and sacred space. What was I saying? Positive outcome. Lucky attraction. Removing ob obstacles and clarity. That's what the tower moment did. Light activation, evolution of spirit, action in your plans, transcendence. I'm really, I really like both cards and I really like this sacred space. You know, we all have a sacred space to retreat to where we feel like we can connect to our mind, body and soul. Does it have to be the same areas that people say or go to, you know, it's, 
it's what's special to you. It's what makes you feel in, in the right vibration, connected to yourself, to your personal power. Remember, I was seeing you, this person who's, who is moving the chessboard as they want it. Some of you might be like, I don't have time for routine or imperfections. But by going into your sacred space or just even doing some spring cleaning, it's going to help clear your mind, clear your energy. Remember I said about certain energies here. Just cleansing that energy field. And this is really about, you know, the obstacles are clearing. There's positive outcomes, if any of you felt those obstacles, from even something you've had. You're drawn closer to your manifestations that are coming in for you. And maybe you want to use an affirmation like, I am clear, I am cleansed, and my, my soul is complete. Something like that, whatever speaks to you, you know, sometimes we have to tweak words that speak to us individually. I mean, I've just sort of thought of that on the spot. But you are going through an activation during this time. And strongly, we see it here. Um, and we saw, did we see the judgment card? Judgment card. So you're going through an awakening. And I don't, I think, you know, some of you could feel it as, it, you know, it was a bit abrupt, but some of you could be gentle or whatever it is. But we're in a constant state of learning. But don't be stubborn because it keeps you stuck in the places where you don't want to be. It's just that you've got to fear. Let yourself be free. Because your soul wants that new challenge, wants that new experience, wants the goodness of the energy that's here. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it resonates. Like I said, you might wish to check back on it. And stay blessed and take care of yourselves. And bye for now.